Hey guys, Segif back with you. Uh, today I'm checking out Patron, which popped up on my Steam suggested for me page, so to speak, and I thought I'd give it a try. It reminds me a lot of Banished, and I absolutely loved Banished as kind of a, an RTS uh, village builder. It was very calm and peaceful, and I used to play it just to hit the zen and the ambience was nice. And so this looks like that scratch. So, oh, I get to make my own banner. Or, pick my banner. Let's see, what options we got? Um, something simple like that, I like it. Um, And we're just gonna rename it Frontline. All right, let's continue. Oh, we get to pick our land mass, I guess. Mediterranean, peaceful, almost Mediterranean looking island with the lots of fertile soil, scarred with bays and coves, surely a place where people crowd call home. Enrich. Difficulty normal. Interesting. There is like different challenge modes based off the environment that you pick. You know what, let's just start real basic. This is the demo. So we're just gonna go population. I'm not gonna tweak with anything. It's just gonna be the baseline. Apparently starting in April. I've not played this at all. I'm literally just booting this up for the first time. I uh, will put the demo information uh, from the Steam page in the section below, so anyone that wants to join. All right, welcome to Patreon. Your citizens have already built the townhouse, townhouse, and hooves, and are ready for your guidance. Focus on getting your civilians a place to live, food to eat, and firewood to keep warm. Winter is coming, and it's up to you to prepare for it in time. So this is just like Banished, where it kind of starts you off like in spring or late summer. Build houses, build upgrade to ga uh, gather shelter to produce food, sawmill to produce firewood, build a depot near production buildings to make transport faster and increase maximum stock size. All right. Oh wow, you can zoom out far. What is what is that? All right. All right. So, um, okay, this is our ore coin, so there is a currency. Is there a pause? There is a pause. Oh, oh. Okay, so spacebar pause this is just like Banished. This, even, the graphics even look like Banished. Welcome to Patreon. This short tutorial will guide you through the basic concepts of building your new city. Setting up efficient production chains and governing your people. Let's start. And governing your people. Okay, W, A, S, and D to move the camera around. Got it. Uh, alternative, you can hold. Right. Okay. Figured that out. Zoom. Figured that out. Is that a ship? Rotate the camera. Okay. Interact with objects by clicking on them. Okay. I click on citizens. Your citizens are depend uh, in need of housing. Citizens uh, they have to have a place to live to be happier and will pay taxes. Okay, so there's more of an economy in this one. Only one family can occupy a single house. If they have room and are at least content with your town, they will have children. That's similar. Build five tents or houses. Okay. Housing. Oh, okay. Nothing is free. Well, things don't necessarily cost coins. They require other resources. Okay. So that's their resources. This is set up very similar. Okay. Then it said something about G for overlay. Ooh. This is like all sorts of cool grids. Alright. Let's go housing first. Off the bat. Shelter. 
Uh, town gets too crowded. It's like an halfway house. Let's do houses. Uh, R to rotate, and then there's the R. So this is just like Banished. Is this made by the same people that made Banished? Like, I, like, I legitly don't know. Now I'm kind of curious. Just make this simple. We'll have the road right there, right? How that works. Right. Can we put roads? Uh, dirt road. Okay. get your dirt roads going so that it you can kind of get a planning set up for how you want to do your houses or your resources there we go that's five all right start gather yeah, shelter okay so while they're doing that oh my gosh we got a well docks watch tower. wait why do i need a watchtower your safety within the radius like are there bandits are there threats is this this is like banish 2.0 i know i keep referring this to banish because that's the closest thing that i can think of that this looks like trying for religious purposes okay roads beautifications flag post okay i'm sure that factors in um Gather shelter, okay. Depot. Oh no. We'll do um depot actually. Right there. And then um gathers. So we want to put that off into the woods somewhat. And then still connects to, we'll just put it off in the woods there. And then see if we can get road. to it there we go wow they built really fast okay can i click on the house okay cool i can see the durability of the house income a year residence there's upgrades inventory has one coal installation upgraded to a stone house that's really cool what are all these currencies luxuries happiness Influence points. Influence points are used for enacting decrees through policies and the decrees. There's a government system, so it has like almost a, a civilization feel to it. Influences three of three. I can add. Oh my gosh. And these are just things that we have to either taxes all right all right so we have almost the, this is a lot faster i will give you that housing source some of your families have nowhere to live build more houses no priority yeah, that's a priority Okay, we need houses first. Come on, people. Speed up time a little bit. Oh, 
Oh. Ah, there we go. One, two, three. And spacebar is your speed. So, like, just listening to the rain and this kind of uh, Celtic flute music is just chill. Like, I, this is, like, one of those kind of games that sometimes that I'll just play for hours. Really chill and have a snack or eat dinner with. It's low stress, low involvement. Like, I can pause. I can do whatever I want. Whoa, too zoomed in too much. There's, like, a castle up here. What is... Kind of neat. Because there's like hidden things that we can find. Uh, most buildings require workers to operate in the case of the gatherers. Shelter requires gatherers to. Okay. So, the people's journal. Okay, so this is just like. Keep saying banished. Alright, so I. There we go. People have jobs now. What was that? Production? Lumber. Okay. So, we need to... Oh, that's the... Okay, uh, Putin will all about production chains, which means transporting resources between various buildings to make it easier for your workers and carriers to do this place, some roads, connect the buildings. Right put it numb. Okay. Okay, what is this? Winter's coming and will valuable. Build a sawmill. Okay, so. Let's build a sawmill. Oh, we're gonna do this. We want an off the path a little bit. I guess not too far off. I guess that works. Oh, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Um, let's see. How much? We have no herbs. We have ten adults, six young, three children, and five of them are related family. Alright, we've got quite a bit of loot. Food it says will last a month. Oh, last month that we've reduced. Uh, we're running out of lumber. We have plenty of firewood, I guess. Um, I don't know the ratios of how this goes through. Rips. Ooh. People need to start getting to work. We're not getting lumber. Gather resources. Gather trees. Alright. There we go. Get to work, people. Because that's what's keeping us behind, is we have, you know, lumber. Yeah, this is just a nice, chill game. Expansion. Workers bonus one. Oh, I bet you it increases the, the circle that they um, gather from. Efficiency, 104% this year. Quantity. Okay, so we're going to start getting food. Okay. This is cool. All right, you're good. And click on homes. Okay. So, okay. They're showing that they have inventory. Looks like we have some wheat and some strawberries. So after winter, what I want to do, the town hall center must be up there to gathering hall. Wait, what? Town hall center. I'm sorry, what? I would like crops. Alright, berries and mushrooms aren't enough to keep people happy. Build a hunting ranch and sign a work with. Bear in mind that hunter uses lumber and iron to create traps and arrows. They can't hunt properly without those. You can gather iron and much like lumber. Okay. 
so let's see. What is other metal? Let's see. Is any of this metal? Okay, there's quite a bit of metal here. Let's clean up that metal. And then stone. Let's clean up that stone that's there. That should get us going. For that. I thought I put that on higher priority. Okay, it has lumber, it just needs now a worker to it. Now we actually gather stuff. Um, demolish fields, no. Gather all resources, that's cool. Cancel clearing, gather. Beautification, production buildings, farms, town buildings. Okay. Where's this gathering hall? The town center must be upgraded to gathering hall. Okay. Let's see, town center, where we got? Cool, that's important. I don't see it. Oh, what's this? You can now take care of basic necessities. You'll need to expand and grow and advance. Take a look at the various research projects. Oh, okay. Research projects. Oh, wow. So this is... This, this is like a weird mix between Civilization, like Civ 5, 6, 6, and Banished, which is kind of fun. Um, increases herbalism hot efficiency if near a gatherer's shelter. Fisherman's hut. Quarry. Allows construction of quarries used for extracting stone. This is like more of your production. This is going to be more of your food. Go clearing the path. And then we're going to build an herbalist hut. Alright, I figured that out. Thank you. Okay. This shows our supplies. Can I change the window size? No, I can't. Okay. Production. What was it? This gathers. Herbalist hut. So if it was close, that they'll get a bonus. Alright. So we'll just build it right there. Alright. That should be researching. You now have the basics of governing your colony that it take one of your citizens to your town will prosper. Ignore their... Wait. Take care of your citizens in your town will prosper. Ignore them. Good luck, Patriot. I mean, 89% happiness. That's pretty good. Uh, researched. Okay. Oh, it's... Wow, that's taking a lot... That's going a lot faster than I thought it was going to. We might do a fisherman's hut just because we are so close to the water. It seems like a good idea. I mean, there's a dolphin right there. I, I, I need a dolphin. I wonder what they taste like. And there's crabs. I mean, we, sh we should be... What is that? Is that strawberries? What is... That gatherings. It's like gathering stuffs. It's in the barrier that we should be gathering. Inventory. Four strawberries. Cool. Efficiency down. I like because we cut a bunch of the trees. Alright. There we go. Get to work. Expansion. Plus one worker slot. Okay. Research done. But we can click on the little tab and it just brings us over. Dragon paint being 100 lodge efficiency if near a herbalist hut plus 20%. And then what we'll do, we'll take one of these roads. What is this? Road sign. Help your citizens find their way quicker. They move 5% faster while near a road sign. 
Interesting. That needs a little work. But we'll just put this out there. Then build it. Hunting Lodge. No. You know what? Whatever. That's that's a good spot. We're not trying to be, trying to be perfect here. Everyone happy. Everyone got food to eat. In and out's good. That's cool. So we can see what we lose. So we see what we gain, see what we lose. We don't know the current market value of green beans. That's an issue. But yeah, this is a game that I can just casually play and probably be terrible at and just be happy. Be doing good on wood. We're producing plenty of firewood. So as winter comes along, we should be good. Um Okay. Additional panels. Docks. Okay. Residence. Growth. Labor. Merchant. All populations. Cool. Do not have any laborers? Happiness. Everyone's happy. We're good. Health of the... Everyone's happy. Oh, cool. I can go to each person. The peasant, peasant, peasant. Gather. Worker, 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 worker. Apprentice. Oh, because you're only eight. That makes sense. That's cool. The neat little buildings. Okay. Things are in production. Expansion. Douche garbage. How do I do that? Large baskets. Pen lumber. Yes. You will get large baskets. I like that. Those kind of upgrades in thing. Mechanization. That's 200 going. We don't have a means of garbage. 15% used upkeep. I need to figure out how to make money. Research done. I have 13 gold coins. I can't do anything. So that's pretty much it. So let's see about... I'm out of money, so I need to make money. I can build a tent, cost no money, cost resources. Okay, okay, so we, we broke, but hopefully we can get income. Okay, this is, we're in May, year one, there's a little... Fahrenheit because I'm an American. And I don't feel like doing the conversion rate for Celsius. Um, I've been trained to do that. I've... Oh, this is my... Log. That's cool. I just... I don't... Do it. Oh, I should be doing the grids when I'm building stuff. Ooh, topographic! Oh, and soil fertility. Ah, oh, that's cool. This is toggle for ore. The ore here. Oh, this is so cool. Go this. Okay, so I can toggle trees off and on. Oh, with tree. Oh, so I can see things. Is that a hill? Oof. I like this. This is like they 
if this is made by the same people that did um, Banished, it's like they took what Banished did and then just tweaked it, made it a bit more efficient, a bit more fun. I'm just bad at discovering everything right now. Oh, look at all this stuff on the ground here. Mushrooms and strawberries. What is that? Some kind of little mound. All right, this is cool. All right, let's get a person working. Herbs. Okay, what are herbs used for? I'm guessing herbs are used to make medicine. So that's gonna be useful. Town hall, I still can't do anything and I'm broke. So we need to just... Oh, I'm up to 32 coins. How am I getting money? Additional panels. Um, annuals. Coins. Okay. Here we go. Can I see what my... In okay. I have no idea how I'm getting money right now. Or do they sell these supplies while they have an abundance? Is that partially what this is for? Like, I, I keep so much... Wait. Box sold. Hmm. Okay. Sure. Whatever. I gained money. I'm okay with it. Okay, let's see. What is this? Provide some storage space for your residents and enables carriers to do their job efficiently. Depots serve as a resource drop-off and pick up points for your workers. But having it centralized is good. Let's get a hunter going. We just gained money. Cool. Production during winter. We don't have that right now, so let's just do venison production. Let's see if he's, like, a better butcher. And then I'm going to do gather all. Let's just get that stuff. Make it nice. Let's clear this up. We'll have a nice, nice beach area. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. It's, it seems deep, it seems interesting. I might actually buy this. Probably not to uh, subject you guys to the boring play of me building a town and try, trying to uh, run a failed economy, but more or less, this is like a great downtime game to just relax, listen to nature, listen to this cool tunes, and just blow off steam, especially like after work or a long day um, at home or doing chores or whatever you got going on. This, this game is very relaxing and it kind of still is in the same mindset of those strategy games or those RTSs. I, I have this, I have a nice niche spot in my soul for games like this so i might actually get this just for me time not for the channel there you guys go that, that's just a quick snippet and like i have this entire island to explore and expand about look there's like another fort with like cannons there's cannons which makes me think there's threats. There's another mound. Yeah, this, like, this... So, this game has, like... Interesting, just stones out there. Has, um, like, exploration to it. It has... Like, soothing building to it. And there's the bears! I just saw a little bear. Cool. Uh, it it seems to slightly 
itch a lot of things. Is that a buried shrine? There's all sorts of stuff to this. Oh, there's a ship. Can't click on it. I'm coming back to mine. There we go. So. Like I said, this is a fun game. Um, I might play more of this demo. Just to play it out. To see how it is. Um, hopefully I don't fall into it too much. There's other things I'd like to do today, but this is definitely one of those games that you can just hit the pause button, freeze time, go make a sandwich, go mow the lawn, go do things, come back, hit play, and continue about your play. And I really think those type of games with a strong pause feature or fast forward feature, or when you want to complete something or accomplish something, it really allows you to do that, especially for those of us that have limited time and ability to play as much as like we would want to, or have other priorities. Well, I think I'm going to end it here, because otherwise it's, it's more or less just maintenance and waiting for these guys to do work. And that's the, the style of this game, is that there is giant lulls in this game, or games like this. Which is not a bad thing, because I can seriously just sit back here, watch my town, and drink coffee. Sip on coffee or tea, and just relax for the evening. Alright guys, I will see you next time uh, for the next game. Uh, stay safe and well fed on the front line. Bye.